This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen look at that oh the beard and everything boy i you know i don't even recognize you, you, you yeah just... it hasn't really grown much in two weeks has it <laughs> since last i've been here pretty oh. much look the same in fact i'm wearing the same shirt that hey, i wore two can weeks i ago. ask you a question now because yeah. you know i've had this forever right had what the beard yeah the right facial hair what yeah. is it ever since david letterman grew that beard all these people are growing beards now. He started uh, a trend. Probably because it's very convenient. It's way easier than shaving all the time. I mean, yeah. even doing something like this is easy. This is a few days growth on the side, and it still looks pretty clean compared to this. Oh, I let this it's go. It's very easy to take care of. Yeah, I let this go a week. It doesn't show up, you know. Well, it's great. But That's I, why I, people have the beard. The only thing that bothers me about the beard is when I'm trying to sleep at night, sometimes... It, you know, gets in the way. You start drooling all over it? No, no, it just kind of is, it gets itchy. You know, it gets uh, kind of like. I don't have that problem. Yeah, you, know, you don't? Nor with the hair. No. No, really? How does your wife feel about the beard? Does not like it at all. Good, that's why you did it, right? No, that's not why I did it. <laughs> and, you know, that she didn't like the long hair either. And uh, I didn't cut it because she didn't like it. And, and, I, and I respect what she likes and doesn't like, but it's not. It's really not her choice, and I don't do it because she wants it done. I, I'm going to leave it. You know, I'm not being spiteful or anything like that. But when it suits me to cut it, I'll cut it. When I like it grown, I like it grown. That's all. Yeah. In fact, I went. We went on a cruise at, uh, uh, at the end of last year, mm -hmm. and I, I we got off. The ship stopped in Nassau, and I'd been to Nassau before, and there's nothing there but souvenir shops and. I said, well, I'm not getting off the ship there or in Jamaica. I don't need to get off in those places. But I got off the ship in Nassau because I said, you know what? I, I could probably get a haircut today. I, I don't want to go on with this. And I just got off the ship, asked the guy at the end, where's the barber shop? He told me two blocks and over there. And I got a haircut and got back on the ship. When I feel like doing it, I feel like doing it. You know That's how all. I get my haircuts? Mar uh, Marjorie. Your wife? Marjorie. Yeah. yeah, good. And how is she doing, by the way? Uh, I got to ask last time I was here. She's still a pain in the ass. No, no, yeah. that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. No, she's fine. You know, good. I mean, uh, she's probably healthier than I am. I've been having She's still some... working? E yeah. Oh, no, wow. No, good. no, well, kind of. They're okay. paying her not to come in. Okay, they're paying her. I'll take. Yeah, they're paying her about two thousand a month not to come in. That's a good job. So that's a very good job. I like that. Yeah. So it's it. it, it I think it's kind of like you know, uh, what's the thing they give you when you leave a job and they pay you a certain amount of money? It's uh, uh, what do they call it? Severance. 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 Yeah. I, I, I can't remember. Walking away money. Anymore. Severance. This is kind of a form of severance, and, uh, but they're paying it out every month, you know. So wow, it's re okay. really, really nice, you know. Very That's good. Nice, you know. That's good. Yeah. My and you are you still getting paid by your old employer? <sighs> no. No. Do you realize we haven't Maybe. been there for eight years? Is it? It's got to be longer than that. I think it's ten years now. Ten years. I think I was 50 when, when we got... Uh, no, but we, we got... No, we got out of there 2013. So it's nine years. Well... Just, just 23. That's 10 years. 23. Yeah, it's 10, but not quite yet. Okay, in July, it'll be 10 years. Yeah. So I've been out of work for 10 years. So, well, you you worked a little bit here and there, you know. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Didn't care for it. Yeah. You were really happy at Fox, weren't you? I never really had the chance to be happy at Fox. They told me to get lost, so I got lost. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> might, they said they said I couldn't do the 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 podcast on Gabnet. Yeah. The 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 the, the, the I think it was the first full day I was scheduled to start. And I said, why not? I said, all your hosts do podcasts on different networks. Well, we we don't allow that. I said, well, what's my option? Well, you can't work here. I said, okay. See ya. And I always thought that was very nice of you. That was very loyal towards me, I think. You know, well, it, it, it was loyal towards me. Well, you also, know, you well, didn't, you didn't, how do you tell me what I can and can't it, do? Exactly. And yet your other people are doing exactly the same thing. Yeah. And you're allowing other employees to do it. Yeah. 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 So, so. I mean, but I mean, it, it was like it was almost what was so chicken shit about it when you described it to me was as, if, as though they considered me competition. I don't. I don't exactly know what it was. I don't know what the what the feeling was. It, it was, it, you know, very clinical. Well, you can't do that. You know, it had nothing to do with where I was doing it or why I was doing it. It's just. It was just very, you know. And the the guy was very nice. My boss was very nice. He said, "You just you can't do that." I said, "Well, then I'll see you later." Well, he 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 didn't decide that. Somebody higher up. Apparently, decided, yeah. yeah. Apparently, he didn't decide it. Yeah, because he hired me and he was very enthusiastic, and I was enthusiastic to start over there um, for about a day. For about a day, <laughs> and then the guy you worked for did eventually die. Alan Cohn. The guy, the guy I was supposed to work for, yeah, yeah. He, he he passed away, I think, within a year or two after. Yeah. Do you I know was, he was uh, nice uh, enough to get in touch with me and say you don't mind if we if I hire Albert Reynoso as a producer? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's yeah, nice. He, yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to feel he was impinging upon me. Well, he was a nice guy. He was a, just Alan a was nice, a guy, nice guy, really nice guy. By, yeah. by all accounts, everybody I know that's dealt with him. And, I, said, with and him. I wrote back and I said, uh, no, you, you know, he's very good at what he does. You'll just find he's terribly unpleasant. Yeah, he's, and, an, un, uh, he's an unbelievably harsh unbelievably individual. Unbelievably harsh individual who, quite frankly, will drive you crazy. But, hey, he, he does a good job. So, yeah. yeah. He, so, and he, and he, he washes once in a while. <laughs> but he doesn't, doesn't shave. No, he doesn't shave. Not anymore. Oh, boy. Uh, so, anyway. So, they're working on the apartment house here. They've been working on it for two years. What, your, years. your building or your Yeah, the, your the building. And they're pointing. Uh -huh. You know what pointing Oh, is. yeah, yeah. That's when That's they take the all cracks. the stuff out between the bricks, and then they put yeah. new stuff in between the bricks, right? Uh-huh. I uh -huh. have had breathing problems. Uh, not it can't be I looked up everything that could be wrong with me and uh, it's not uh, not bronchitis not any I looked up everything everything's accompanied by a cough I don't have a cough mm. but I'm <sighs> feel tight okay You're wheezing not wheezing but on no the wheezing. edge of wheezing you know kind of and it's you know what it is it's all the work they're doing out here the dust is just incredible. Uh, you see them zipping along, taking out all this uh, kind of the stuff in between the bricks, and it's mm -hmm. just flying everywhere. And why, why, uh, why do you have your windows open? I don't have my windows open, but this oh. is an old building, and anything can come through those windows. Oh, you know, Didn't. I mean, it's just it, I find that on weekends when they're not here, I get a little bit better, and then all of a sudden Monday comes, terrible. Just terrible. And and what about on your long walks that you take? Uh, is it is it does it well, provide well, relief for well, the symptoms that you have? Yes, it does. It does. Okay. So see, that's good. You're you're doing that. You're following that healthy lifestyle. Well, that, no, not really. I take a long walk about once a week. Once a week probably is not enough. For it's you. probably not probably enough. Should be out yeah. there at least once a day. But I don't think that you know. I don't think it's anything serious because it's uh, it doesn't. Uh, you know, it, I remember you had a thing about whether it's serious or not. If it doesn't bleed, there isn't blood, you're okay. I said there's no need to go to the doctor if you have no pain or if there's no blood or any liquids coming out of places they shouldn't be coming out of. Yeah, yeah. But, but just to have something checked for, for the reason of having it checked? Why well, do you well, think we I, have problems have, with have, insurance have, in this, this company? I have this thing called a penis sure. and it leaks a couple of times a day. Uh, do I need to have that looked at? What What is this? What part is this? Uh, it's called a penis, 
and water comes out of it, and maybe that's liquid coming out of it. And I should I see a doctor about that? No, that's okay. Oh, that's that's okay. okay. All right. Liquid okay. coming out of places it shouldn't come out. Oh, of shouldn't come out problem. of. Yeah. I see. Right. Okay. That that it should. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what is the uh, average day for Albert Reynoso in where? Where's this? Uh, uh, what What's the name of your complex? The is name it, of my complex is it Boca del Vista. Um, <laughs> inferiority yeah. is, is one name for it. <laughs> because um, you remember Boca Illusions del of Grandeur is another name for it. Those you are my complex. You remember Boca del Vista? Yes. That del Boca the, Vista. Del Boca Vista. Del Boca Vista. Which, yeah. if you translate it, is view of the mouth. Del Boca Vista. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. View of the mouth. That was yeah. on the Seinfeld. Thing. That's where the parents. That's right. Live. Yeah, that's where the parents live. Del Boca Vista. Gary's parents. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, there's no real day for me. It, you know, I get up when I want to get up. Oh, wait a minute. It could be anywhere from seven o'clock to eight thirty. Yeah, and then uh, go to the gym at some point during the day. I don't go at a, at a certain time every day because I don't like routine like that. You know, go to go to the uh, go to the supermarket, which I think is. Uh, the great, the greatest place in anybody's life is the supermarket. And I, I told you to watch the the movie uh, White Noise. Um, did you finish it? By the no, way, no, I haven't been able to get through it yet. Oh, oh, too bad. It, it well, starts out well, pretty boring. Yeah, well, it's a slow movie, but there there are some moments. Oh, by the way, that I saw good, particularly I, the the end. I saw a movie that was so terrible last week. We haven't been to a movie theater in three years. And we decide to go to a movie theater. And it was so bad. I can't wait to hear what, which movie this was. That we walked out after two hours. Two, right, that should, two that hours should, it took you to walk out? That should give you a hint. That it's got to be a long movie. Mm -hmm. And that would be? Uh, There's only one really long movie out right now. I don't even know. Avatar. Oh, Avatar. The really? Of water. We walked out after two hours. Yeah. People thought it was great. Uh, not these people. We were oh. bored. It was. Did you have the glasses, the whole thing? And, and I talked to Michael Snyder, my movie reviewer, and he said, well, it doesn't really get good till about 90 minutes in. And I went, that's too long to have yeah, to that's wait. Good. That's the that's uh, that's the amount of a short movie. OK, yeah. that's a Netflix yeah. movie. If I have to wait 90 minutes for anything to happen, uh, I'm sorry. And I really got depressed because I was looking forward to this. I, I was looking forward to the movie being good, and I was looking forward to the theater experience. By the way, the theater we went to, it is just, it's, it's uh, AMC, and it's shabby. Oh really? Oh, the, the seats, comfy chair theater the comfy is no chair good. Chair theater now has cracks in the seats. You know, I mean, there's stuff they should uh, they they should definitely uh, upgrade. I mean, but the whole place just has this feeling of you know nothing. And then they you buy popcorn; they don't fill it to the top anymore. You know, remember no. how it used to come? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. And then when I we went to fill up our sodas, there wasn't a top for the cup. You know, I mean, wow. come on, you just paid for the two of you $42 to get in. Well, maybe if you go to a theater group that's uh, not from China, then uh, they'll treat well, you better. Is AMC isn't from China. I believe it's owned by a Chinese company. Oh, is it really? I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Look, in the, look in the Wikipedia. I think it is. Yeah. And by the way, I don't know if you remember, but... Uh, not so far off, we had a thing called COVID, which completely destroyed the movie industry, not only at the time that the movies were closed, but it changed yeah. the uh, paradox, not the paradox, the, um, I can't remember words now, the paradigm. The paradigm. paradigm. See, changed the paradigm yeah. of how we consume entertainment. Oh, yeah, no, there's no question about and it. You know, Netflix and even YouTube you can sit on for hours, but nobody goes to the theaters I, anymore. Are, with are you great ready for this? Hold on excitement. to your collective seat. When we bought the tickets, because we bought them online and we chose our seats, right? Yeah, right. A convenience fee. 
Of course, that's got to stop too. This convenience fee nonsense. And by the way, I'm starting to con- uh, to charge convenience fees as well on my own for people who solicit me for things. Yeah. Oh, can we come and talk to you about? Yes, absolutely. It's twenty dollars to talk to me. That's a convenience fee. So Very you should good. do that as Very well. Good. And I suggest that everybody spread that and charge a convenience fee for your time because well, fuck but, these companies here, who are charging these convenience fees, which mean nothing. Here's what galled me about the convenience fee, okay? And that is, you should be glad I come into your goddamn movie theater exactly. after COVID. Exactly. You, know, you should be doing everything you want to get me in there. Give me 25% off if I just order the tickets right now. You know Exactly. I yeah, mean, I don't. I don't even go to the theater anymore because it's just. A, it, no, it, it no, was always horrible. a bad experience. It was experience just horrible, and I, I was depressed for the next twenty four hours. I was depressed because I had to walk out on a movie that I had been looking forward to, mm. and I um, felt, you know, I was, I was just uh, depressed about the the general state of the theater and the convenience fee. And then you go onto their site, and they're trying to sell you the movie, by the way, to rent so you can watch it at home. For what? It'll be on Netflix or Amazon it, it, or any this, one of those yeah, others. Well, this one, Avatar, will be on Disney Plus. I say within three months. There you go. Why go to the theater? Like, what uh, is uh, the point? Uh, February, look at February, look behind you. You have that beautiful screen that says Gabnet on it. You can watch anything. That's right. That's yeah. right. You don't need to go to the theater. The no. only reason no. I went to the theater was because I wanted to see it in 3D. Okay. Don't you have a 3D TV? With yes, the but they, they, but they're not making discs anymore in 3D. They're not. Well, can't you download it in 3D? No, I'm sure you can. No, no you can't. Somewhere. No, you can't. Oh, I find that hard to believe. No, you can't. Okay. You know. Well, I'll look around and see if it comes out in 3D. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah but, but, for but, but for instance, Wakanda Forever, which was a very popular film, which only came out about two months. Never heard ago. of it. Yeah, this is the sequel to Black Panther. Oh, I didn't care for Black Panther. Well, I, I a, turned it off. Anyway, the point is that that film, February 1st, it's on Disney Plus. Okay? You mm-hmm. know. So uh, uh, Avatar, I say give it three months tops. It'll be on Amazon Plus. It may be on faster. Probably, yeah. You know? Well. Why not? Why go to the theater? I well, can't you believe know you something, still This is a film that could remain in the theaters because you can't get it in 3D at home. Mm-hmm. And so if you want it in 3D, you got to go to the theater. That's a good deal. You know, you, you make money both ways. It's not a good deal if you don't want to go to a movie theater, but which you, I don't. Uh, I have no desire to go to a movie theater ever again. I said to Marjorie, I said... I guess in our lifetime, that'll be the last time we ever go to a movie theater. And that's kind of one of the things that also made me sad because, you know, there was something about movies that was just wonderful. You go there and you're enjoying a film with a bunch of people, right? You're all enjoying it at the same time. There's an audience reaction, you know. If it's a comedy, they're all laughing, whatever. It's I a- had that experience when I was a child going to Radio City when my parents took me there and not much long after that oh. because <laughs> always people screaming at the screen and sticky well, crap on the floor and right. people who are rude to that's you all right. over the place. That's who right. needs it? Well, you they know, don't you do know why people house. are rude to you? Because what did you have then you don't have now? Uh, you know, I, I, you probably won't even come up with it, but I, once I say it to you, you will go, oh, of course. I have them that I don't have now. Yeah, when you go to a movie theater. Mm, mm. I don't know. They carried a flashlight, you remember? Oh, yeah, right. You had ushers. Yes, you did. And you, the ushers stood in the back of the theater, and if there was any noise going on in the theater, they would go down and they would tell people to knock it off. Mm, okay? That's right, they did. You don't have ushers anymore. You're the usher. You're the guy who's got to say to the person in front of you, would you mind shutting up? Can you believe an usher would, would, would have any response from anybody other than that? Well, no. Ushers, uh, for some reason, I think ushers, These days, ushers no. carried with them a certain weight. I remember when I was a kid, especially, we had a big fear of the usher coming up to us and telling us to hold it down. Hmm. You know? Well, I, don't think they would, I, I don't think they would have the same. Uh, but we don't have ushers. You have to admit that, you know. They, they'd be threatened, I'm sure, 
by, by many of the patrons. I mean, Turn that flashlight I mean, off. How dare you interrupt my movie? Yeah, wait a minute. They, they take the flashlight and say, oh, there's a seat over there. Go go have a seat. You know, and they lead you to your seats. Don't tell me where to sit. I'll sit wherever in I fact, want. In fact, I don't know. That's what I you'll have now. At Radio City Music Hall, the ushers were like an elite corps of military. They all lined up and they marched a little bit. You know that part I don't remember. Yeah, well, that but was that was before your Russia. time. That was before your time. Yeah, but gee, as a kid, that must have been wonderful to go to Radio City Music Hall, though. Oh, it was the best. This massive screen, this huge auditorium, and they'd show you this two-hour movie, which was great, and then the curtains would open and a live show would come up. Yeah, yeah, all for one price. It was amazing. Yeah, my father used to work uh, in San Francisco as a musician, and he would work those theaters. Yeah. And they would do a show three times a day. Or, exactly. No, not three times a day, excuse me, about six or seven times a day. Wow. So he would get a job with, say, Spike Jones, mm -hmm. who was the act that was playing in between the movie. Right, right. In fact, there were two movies. There was that, a companion feature, and then the stage show. And, and then he, uh, Spike Jones would do 45 minutes, and then everybody would go out and come back a couple hours later, do another 45 minutes, and go back wow. out and come back another couple hours and do another 45 minutes. Well, you couldn't have that now because people can't sit still. Oh, they people. won't sit for a, for a movie and then a show afterwards. Hey, they can't I couldn't sit still, sit still for a three-hour film, which is what yeah, well, Avatar is. And, and by the way, it didn't need to be that long. It could have been Probably. an hour shorter. And I'm, I'm sure the theaters aren't happy with a three-hour movie because that means they can only show it several less times a day. But they, they're not scared to hike up the price. They're not scared to say, well, this is a, this is a, uh, a premium. They throw that word out. This is a premium presentation. So we're going to have to charge you a convenience fee. For watching. <laughs> for watching. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It, you know, I mean, I, I get to this point where I go, when I was a kid, I never had to put up with this. You know, you go, you get your, you go to the theater, it was 25 cents, you got uh, 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 you got a, a double feature, you got a cartoon, you got a newsreel, and you picked, bought some Raisinets. You know? That sentimentality is, is, it's misguided, I have to say. What do you mean because misguided? It was, it was not better back then, it was different back then, and I will say that Nothing is better back then as it is now. Look what we have now. We can get any movie we want in our homes on in great quality. Yes, on a thing. I don't have to pay a dime for it in yeah, most but cases. But how do you do that? What, what, what is the distribution method on that? It's called the Internet, right? And the Internet yeah. is the same thing that gives you robocalls, uh, gives you all this, uh, uh, what do you call it, identification, theft. You know, it's wonderful. It's just and wonderful. So you, didn't, you didn't have that in the old days when people nobody were stealing? Ide nobody stole my identity unless they, like, stole my wallet. And how many times has your identity been stolen? Never. Oh, well, then, then that kind of throws your argument out the window. Well, I'm knocking on wood because, you know, it could well be that now somebody's listening to this and going, oh, you know, I'll this go, is, this I'll is go the same. This is the same argument you gave when, when <laughs> during one of the shows, you said, you said, well, and ditch, ditch diggers don't make any money. And I know because I know a ditch digger. You don't know a ditch digger. You never had a problem with identity theft. Come on. No, uh, what do <laughs> Well, I just I never could figure out why I was making you know, like in, in San Francisco four hundred thousand dollars a year and a ditch digger wasn't, you know, because I wouldn't want that job. But somebody does. Yeah, yeah. And 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 uh, you know, as why do I get paid that kind of money and a teacher gets paid shit? Because as nutty as it sounds, it, it's two different skills. You have a different skill than yeah. My, the my skill had. was I created a skill that made other yeah. people money, so therefore I became valuable to them, therefore I could screw them on price. That's the capitalist way. That's what we do. This is America. I if I have something you want, I'm gonna charge a lot of money funny. for it. I never considered myself a capitalist. Well, that's, ca that's capitalism right there. Really? That's how you make money. You, you make it valuable, 
and then you hold out for the highest price. I just want the old days again. You Which know, you did. I went oh, down, the old days are no better than I went than to today. the movies and I paid 25 cents and I got yes, a cereal yes, and yes. I got a cartoon and I got a, two, a double feature. You know, or if I went to the kitty man, Jackson was the gotta, devil, gotta, and Reagan was the devil, and everybody was the devil. Same, same devils as there are now. Okay, well, I'm glad. Not much different. Like, the man. With life the, is good, Alex. Hey, In spite hey, of it all, life is hey, good. Hey, listen, he's a man with a beard, and that means he's wise. Okay. <laughs> no. uh-uh. <laughs> Definitely not. Anyway, but, hey. I, but I do have some logic and some opinions. Hey, this is great. I hope we can do this again. Yes, we can. We can do it every two weeks. Okay. Well, I will then get in touch with you in a couple of weeks, and we will do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to that which is Albert Reynoso. Let's do it stoned next time. Good. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Well, oh, I got to turn on the lights. Uh, Nothing's going right tonight for me. Nothing, nothing is going right for me. Uh, I had a horrible thing happen at the very beginning of the show, which I won't get into. And then when we finally got on, I started the interview with Albert, and all of a sudden, I hear my, I hear commercials and stuff like that running. I'm trying to figure out what that's happening, what that's happening. So then I stop everything except for the the, the stream itself. And I, uh, I go looking for it, and it turns out that I have a thing on here. I, the the uh, audio comes up on here through, um, uh, through YouTube. And usually I have that muted, but it wasn't muted because over the weekend I guess I changed one thing and another. And, uh, you know, again, you know, you don't want to know uh, how the uh, how the bacon is made. You just, you know, you just want to eat the bacon. You don't want to see the pig get killed, okay? So I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but I'm apologizing. I'm apologizing to the people who watched it live because they saw it go on and off and on and off and, you know, we um, all through this whole thing. So if you're watching the uh, the replay of the stream, you're in for a real show, okay? And if you watch it on just the, uh, the edited version that we do, where we, we actually cut out the commercials at the beginning and all of that and do a wonderful job, okay, uh, then I, uh, 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 I think you won't notice that anything was wrong except the show's a little shorter than usual. But anyway, we got it on. It happened. We we're all here, and I guess I should be happy for that. But it's not a way to start the show, and you don't you don't feel so good about the show when you you know when you're doing you can't get it all together. But anyway, there are a lot of people waiting to come on. I don't know why. I have no idea why they're waiting to come on. But uh, we will. Uh, let me first of all let me get this there. Okay, and then I I push a button, and I admit them all. And I believe, well, I don't want him. Okay. Uh, so let me get rid of Adam Salmon. Okay, I want to remove him. Okay, remove him. Okay, and then I will let everybody else in. All right. Uh, don't oh. report. Okay. Feel so good about the show. Oh, well, you know, wait a minute now, Jeff. It. Turn it down, please, Jeff. Get rid of it. But anyway, oh. a lot of people waiting to come on. I don't know why. I have no idea why they're waiting. Okay, are we all right now? Boy, if it isn't one thing, it's another tonight. God damn it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Currently, you have to stand up a little bit. We're, we're cutting off part of your... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, what does it say? Biceps come in... Wait a minute. In... But well, I don't... Two... Can't, I, 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 I can't see the whole thing. Turn forward. Go forward. Move. Turn yourself forward. Come to those who wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, it was worth it for that. Okay. So you know all the trouble I went through to get the show on tonight. Um, I wish it were. You know, I wish it had been easier, but it wasn't. But we're... so why wouldn't you want to be called Jeff? Hello. Why wouldn't I want to be called Jeff? I, Listen, well... Adam. Adam, hold on a second. Adam, if you're calling, I don't want you. Okay, I don't want you, so don't don't uh, don't call. Okay, please. 
all right? Because I'm not going to pick you up, and you're just going to be waiting there, waiting <laughs> to go on, and I, I don't want you to have to do that either. So I'm going to hit remove. I'm going to go that. And I'm going to oh, go uh, you, we only see you on YouTube, I think. Oh, I see. Hey, another thing I did wrong tonight. Maybe that's what he's calling for, just to let you know. Yeah, no, he's not. Okay. <laughs> there well, we Jack are. Had oh. all kinds of problems yesterday. What? The Jack had all kinds of problems yesterday. How do oh, I? How do I? How do I block Adam from even calling this show? Uh, let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Don't go to the intersection. I, I wonder if I can go here. No, I can't. I go admit. <laughs> um, you're on the ten. Yeah. Uh, um, let me see here. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, what happened? What chart? happened? What happened last night to Jack? Uh, what has it? What has it? Well, uh, we could all get on and talk to each other, but we could not. Jack could not talk to us. <laughs> Did you guys have your own show? Yes. Uh, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want that. Pro I had that problem, uh, and um, last night, he had he had he had a problem with his computer, and we couldn't. It's just I don't. I, I really don't want to get into it. Uh, YouTube, uh, you have Stephen Kravitz's name on there too. Do I have yeah. Stephen Kravitz's name? It on looks there? like it's right next to my name, so I'm not Stephen Kravitz. <laughs> wow, this shouldn't even be up. I I thought I did way with it, but I guess I didn't. So here we go. Get rid of it. There we go. Is there okay. anything else, that, anything else I can do wrong tonight? You know, I think the show's no. over by now. It's over by now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I tried. I tried to get on Jack's show Monday at eight o'clock because I was running late. Couldn't get on. It just rang and rang. So then last night I couldn't get on. It rang and rang. Called Charlie. Charlie said Mike and I are on. Tried again. It rang about twenty times. Finally, Jack picked it up. We could we could all see and talk to each other except Jack. We could see Jack, and he could hear us, but we couldn't hear him. Oh, yeah. Well, I have, I was having to try and solve that problem too. So you know, <laughs> and I wouldn't even tell you what happened tonight. You know, <laughs> why I couldn't get on. But, yeah, and it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with somebody else. Uh, so uh, it it just you know it's been it's been a mess Let, here. Let's not mention Jeff by name. Jeff, no, I I'd thought be... it, I thought it was funny when you first got on the show. Before you brought your 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 uh, guest on, you said, "Jeff, stop calling me." Jeff, stop calling. Jeff, me. Jeff was calling me on my phone. Oh, now I get it. Didn't okay. you hear the phone constantly? Why were you calling yeah, me, Jeff? Jeff? I've been away for a, a week. W wait a minute. Why did you just call me tonight while I started the show? Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I, I I didn't want to do that. Sorry, apologies. What did you do? Butt dial me? Uh, well, I did, but I was I was just hitting the wrong thing to to get it started. Yeah. I was having a little computer problem. Yeah, well, he he called me and, uh, yeah. and so that that was a problem. No, I'm sorry. Having to deal with that. And then uh, 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 I, 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 the beginning of the show didn't go on very well uh, because we had some problems. Uh, because I couldn't get it on because somebody was interrupting the happened. well it somebody was interrupting the signal to the encoder mm -hmm. okay and that means that somebody else had their thing on uh -huh. I, I won't name names uh -huh. okay yeah. but anyway Jack should be on tonight I think I'm just lost. you know uh, Adam look uh, Adam Enough is enough already. Change your name. Shall I just put him on and tell him to go fuck himself? He <laughs> put on the chat too. Let me in. Listen. <laughs> huh? Let me join. He put in the chat. Let me join. Let me join. Okay. <laughs> uh, you see, he can't even hook himself in. See? It's probably Phil Meyer. Huh? No. Probably I'm happy Phil Meyer. Meyer. I'm happy Phil's not on tonight. With all those yeah. documents, man, he'd be saying all these wrong things. It'd be. Oh, I'm. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. You know, this is. Going once. Going twice. twice. 
Sorry, Adam, you had your chance, buddy. Okay. This is that's it. Um, wait a minute. Where do I sign off here? Where do I get rid of him? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. R remove. Okay, remove. Yeah, remove. There we go. Okay. And let me just somebody is somebody are you you're close to your computer, aren't you, Charlie? Just type in there to add Adam. Uh -huh. Alex yeah. doesn't want you to call. There he is. He, huh? I think Brian's doing it. Yeah, I'll put that in here. Don't. No, I, I did it nicely. I did it nicely. So call Adam. Nicely for San Jose is like fuck you, off. You're <laughs> at East Side San Jose. I'm in I'm in the white area. <laughs> Whoa. Here we what? go. Uh um, Why did you say don't, sorry? Don't call Adam. You're a pain in the ass. How's that? Is that nice enough? Yeah, that's, that's why I was sorry, Adam. <laughs> Is there somebody you know? Huh? No, it's not anybody I know. It's just somebody he called one night, and, and it was like, hello, what is this all about? Uh, oh, geez. And then he calls every night. And then one night he uh, he called and I waited and the show signed off and he was still there. So I went and talked to him and he said, oh, hi, I was trying to call in uh, to, and I, uh, I don't know, what is the show about? And I said, don't ever call me again. That's right, call Jack Bishop on Skype. Yes, call Jack Bishop after I'm off. He, he oh, he finally saw, I will every day. What? Mm. He will you know, this is the Alex Bennett I remember because this guy used to yell at me when I was a kid going to the breakfast with Bennett. So. Did I yell at you? Really? Yeah, I think so. But we liked it. You know, we wanted a, a little attention from you. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, let I used me to see. be there like at 5 a.m. waiting in line to be first. I think it was a place where I can actually put somebody so they can't call the show. <clears throat> block. Can't you block? Well, okay. Purgatory. Hmm? Purgatory. You can try every day. That you, you can, uh, let me let me type in here. Threatening. You, you you can try <laughs> all me, you let like. Let me do your work for you, oh, Alex. Okay. There's okay. a lot to talk about tonight. Just say you can call all you want, but Alex is never going to answer your call. Never going to accept. Yeah, never going to accept your call. <laughs> in your life. <laughs> you can't stop. In your life. He says in your life forever. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just build the show. We have a lot to discuss. In your life forever. In your life forever, he means. Okay, get the show going. I'll deal with your dirty work. Okay. No, I'll get him thrown off of Zoom. Is what I'll mm -hmm. do. You know, what's his name? Adam Solomon. Here I go. It sounds Jewish. Holy shit. Yep, let's go. Yeah. Was he drunk like bathtub? Yeah, no, if he keeps doing this, Adam, if you keep doing this, I can get a hold of Zoom and they can put you on a major timeout. Okay, then you'll never be able to use Zoom for the rest of your life. Okay? <laughs> anyway. So I, I can tell you exactly what I want. Hmm? <laughs> That's what he said. He, let me join you so I can tell you exactly what I you know something, you asshole? I just answered you. I put you on and you couldn't even sign in, you jerk. <laughs> you know. That's what that's what Brian said is that we tried, you wouldn't come on. Let me know and join now. I mean it. Oh, are you threatening me? He's threatening <laughs> me. I'll tell you what threats get people. Anyway, <clears throat> you may remember there was this long thing that went on with me for about eight years. And that was fighting to get this apartment. All yeah. right? It was a big legal action. Cost mm -hmm. Marjorie and I uh, close to $110,000 in lawyer's fees. Whoa. Okay, wow. over those eight years. Well, that's oh. only $10,000 a year. What the hell? Anyway, uh, you know, it's money we could have used for things like, I don't know, food, clothing, <laughs> you know, whatever. COVID test. COVID test. <laughs> so so we, um, um, we've been fighting this thing for years. And then finally, we kind of got it over with because we came to an accommodation with the guy that had the apartment before us, which cost us about 75 grand. So now we're into this thing for 185 grand, all right? 
But still, uh, the judge then says, as you may remember, that uh, he uh, looked at the whole situation and he made the judgment that this apartment should be rented out for $500.07 a month. Now this is, what are you doing? We Not just, that again. Well, you, we, would you put, hey, listen, listen Al, Alan, shut the uh, fuck up and just uh, listen because you're going to hear something <laughs> different now. Okay. Or don't, or don't you want to hear it? I do want to hear it. Because if you don't want to hear it, just sign off. But don't get asshole with me. All right? Okay. Oh, you tell him off, Josh. You're good at it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I could have lived without another Jew joke tonight. I mean, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't really know how everybody puts up with his obsession with Jewish people and Jewish names. I really can't understand that. Yeah, well, it's probably because he's Jewish, and that's every reason for him oh, not I to mean, like Jews. That may be, <laughs> anyway, but anyway, words me out. So you may remember that. So the, the last thing that happened was the judge made that thing. So if we all knew that they could, if they wanted to, appeal that judgment. And we made a deal with them that if they appealed the judgment and they wound up that we, you know, the, the rent was supposed to be higher, we would pay them the difference over the year. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, if they, if they win, the, win an appeal, blah, blah, blah. Well, they made their appeal. We didn't know this. They made their appeal and the Peel's judge came back and said, no deal, the rent's still $500.07. And because this is the appeals court, this is pretty much the final judgment on this deal. So ladies and gentlemen, I now have 2,500 square feet of prime property that I'm renting in New York right. City for $500.07 a month. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Can, can was I that a little different for your? Six hundred dollars. Was that different? A different part of the story, Alan? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Glad you you're happy. Sublet one of your bedrooms. What? You should sublet one of your bedrooms. Uh, listen, I I don't want to do that. You know, I I said to Marjorie, I said if we wanted to move to California and get a house, we could come back here every now and then. As long as we don't rent this thing out, it's ours. You know. Right. And at five hundred a month, I mean, that's you know. That's Cheeto's money. Chump change. That's chump change. So, I mean, it is the most amazing story in the world. And then I go online, and there's this guy on YouTube who does this thing about the cheapest apartment in New York, 650 bucks. And I'm going, okay. And then I look at the thing, and of course, it's a really small apartment. I mean, so small that if you wanted to change your mind, you have to go out in the hallway, you know? And he... Uh, uh, he goes there and it's really small and I'm going, gee, if he only knew what I'm getting for five hundred dollars, you know. So if that's the cheapest apartment in New York, would you say five hundred dollars is probably the cheapest apartment in New York? Especially if you if you you know divide it by how many square feet, I'm sure that's, well, that's you know how much per square foot. Twenty five hundred square feet, so five hundred into twenty five hundred <clears throat> is what? What is it? Let's see, 500. I, I don't know. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. About 20 cents a square foot. <laughs> 20 cents a square foot, is that it? <laughs> Man, it's amazing. My, my son's apartment in Brooklyn, he and his girlfriend are renting his two-bedroom, one-bath, and it's 2500 a month. Yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap, actually, for uh, an apartment in, I think, in Brooklyn now. Brooklyn's really gotten expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My son's in Brooklyn now, you know? Yeah. How much is he paying? Do you know? I'm not sure, but it's... 2, how much? 2000 Yeah. So, 2, yeah. 000. Yeah. And that's just one... Uh, that's a one-guyer. A one-guyer. One-guyer. Yeah. Nobody that, else. Do they have that listed as one-guyer? Yeah, I think yeah. that, you know, it's not big enough to have two people sleeping together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh really? Oh, okay. It's a one bedroom. It's, it's a what? It's a one bedroom. It's a one bedroom. Okay. Not like what you have. Yeah. Well, ours is. Uh, it's a, ours is only a three bedroom. <laughs> and a and a dining room and a yeah. living room and a huge kitchen <clears throat> and a pantry and a two bathrooms 
and and a foyer. The foyer is about as big as some people's bedroom in these apartments yeah. we're talking about. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Is it one of your bedrooms the studio though? It, 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 I, it, well, this this is one of the bedrooms. Yeah, this was the weirdest bedroom of them all. You know, like so, long, huh? It looks like it's long, like a long bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's, a, it's a bedroom, you know. Do the firehouses, do the fireplaces work? The fire, oh yeah, we have two fireplaces. And they run. And I'm back to back with each other, so, yeah. yeah. You know, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm just really, I'm really happy about it. Marjorie says, well, let's not go tell this guy and have him put it out on YouTube because I don't know. She's she's still worried they can do something about it. But they made the law, okay? Uh, you know this is this is legal uh, legally set now, and the guy they can go back and reappeal, but the appeals judge will say no, according to my lawyer. My lawyer said, for all intents and purposes, you, you've You're got off. that apartment for five hundred bucks and seven cents a month, you know, until two years have passed, and then they can raise it. But I think they can only raise rent in New York City by about 4% a year. Mm -hmm. So what's 4% of $500? $20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. One <clears throat> yeah. Uh, will somebody write uh, Adam and tell him that Alex said that after the show, he is going to call, get a hold of, of, of Zoom and have them ban you? Yeah, I, I tried to be nice to him. Yeah. And then Foreman got into it with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Well, Foreman didn't get in with him. Adam got into it. So anyways, but we got a lot to talk about. So let's get into the show. <laughs> yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about Adam for the whole rest of the show. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad Phil's not on because Phil would blow up this whole document situation. I mean, it doesn't look good for Biden, but it's not as no, bad. No, it doesn't. As it doesn't look bad for Biden to begin <laughs> with. They were only, they were less than 12 classified yeah. documents. Yeah. Okay. And the newest ones are even a smaller batch than that. Now compare that to Mar-a-Lago, which is 300 <laughs> documents, 25 of which were top secret. Right. It's not, the, it's not the same thing. Uh, yeah. Phil would have blown it up. Phil would have said the same thing in 36 in, boxes, in fact, if all of this, all all the ones at Mar-a-Lago were just classified, I don't think they'd be making as big a deal about it no. as they are, you know. Uh, but it was what? because of the top secret ones that... Plus, Trump took them deliberately. Plus, when Trump was asked to turn them over, he didn't. He said no. Whereas Joe Biden voluntarily p turned them over when they found out he had them. Right. You know, actually, Biden didn't even get involved. His attorneys contacted the archives mm -hmm. and the archives immediately came the next day and picked them up. Yeah. 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 They're going through like, what, 36 boxes and all his personal stuff, personal stuff. And they opened one box and saw that they closed it up right away. And they said, what should we do? And they said, call the archives right away. Mm -hmm. Or have yeah. a fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. I'm putting Adam time out on the chat page. So, um, but uh, you know, I mean, the the, the trouble is that uh, the uh, uh, that the you know the document those documents it isn't a big deal. Okay, not like <laughs> it is with Trump. Okay, I mean, let's face it. Let's be very honest. He wanted to use those uh, to. Um, uh, make some money off of them. Yeah. I think he wanted to sell them to, to the Russians or somebody like that. Or, or blackmail. Or blackmail. Or blackmail, yeah. So, so um, he gave Jared $2 billion for something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, did you hear what the Republicans did their first day in Congress? Well, yeah. well they, they passed They in, created that subcommittee that's going to investigate the investigators. Yep. <laughs> you know, this country's got a lot of problems right now that need to be solved, okay? And a lot of people are hurting, and a lot of people are suffering, and this, these people don't intend to solve any of those problems. All they want to know is what was in Hunter Biden's briefcase. Laptop. The laptop, yeah. 
The second the laptop, laptop has been destroyed. Was and gone. The ethics committee. What? The second thing the Republicans did was kill the ethics committee. There's no more ethics committee for the House. Well, they don't have any ethics. That's right. They don't need it. It's good. You know, I mean, come on, let's be honest. They're assholes. They really are. And the Republicans in New York have mm -hmm. asked Santos to resign. Uh, uh, oh, well, Santos, that, that's the other. <laughs> you know, th this, this Democratic um, um, House... Uh, is just nothing but lots of stuff to kid about and make jokes about and have fun about if it weren't that it was so goddamn serious, you know? Mm. Um, what went on last week was just a travesty, just an absolute travesty. And this week now with Santos, um, what's his name, McCarthy, said, um, hmm, well, really, uh, the people have spoken. So he should be allowed to stay. Yeah, he said it had something to do with the Constitution. I don't see where lying about your campaign has anything to do well, with the Constitution. Listen, I agree that the, the he was his constituency voted him in, and quite frankly, since a congressman is supposed to do good by his constituency and vote in his constituency's needs and so on, and try and get money to come into the community and stuff like that. Oh, they should be forced to have Santos as their congressman. <laughs> okay. Here, let, because, let me, read, let me hmm? can I read the list, the list of stuff for Santos? So he lied on his high school resume, his college resume, worked at Golden Sachs and Citicorp, which was false. In 9 11, claimed his mother's life. Mother fled socialism in Europe. Grandparents survived Holocaust. Lost employees at Pulse nightclub shooting. Had a nonprofit pet charity and claimed to be Jewish. <laughs> No, he's Jewish. Yeah, and, and he claims his name is Santos, which they say is not his real name. Yeah. Oh my God! I mean, you know, so this is the kind of people that the Republicans think is a good idea, and McCarthy doesn't want to see him out. He says people have spoken. But he needed him. He, well, he, he doesn't. He, 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 he but he doesn't need him, and I'll tell you. Well. It, actually, they can hold a new election there. Actually, what I think they should do is appoint a congressman from that district who's Republican. Just, you that know, to be fair. Huh? That's against the Constitution. The it, House has to be an elected by the people. Oh, That's really? Right. Oh. Special election, they can hold a Well, if they hold another election, election in, in that no, part of the world, worry. I don't think the Republican could possibly win, considering all that's <laughs> gone on here, you know, yeah. so... But uh, well, I mean, the head of the Nassau County Republican uh, Committee is asking him to resign. The, 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 yeah. the Republican Committee up there, yeah. In yeah. Nassau County, yeah. 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 <clears throat> well, but he doesn't have to. He doesn't no. have to do any of that. I, I had some hope for Gates when he was voting down McCarthy. But. I guess okay. I guess I guess McCarthy offered him some little girls. No, no. What I what I think McCarthy. happened finally is they wanted an end of the pain. And uh, 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 um, Gates never voted for McCarthy. He voted no. present. He voted present. Yeah. Yeah. Present. And, right. and I believe Marjorie Taylor Greene voted present as well. In other well, words, so did, huh? another so did Biggs. So did Biggs and uh, the the asshole from Arizona. They were voting for Donald Trump. They <clears> finally <throat> decided to vote present, and that's the only way that McCarthy got it. Really? No. Oh, okay. Because it's the number of votes cast. The, Plurality of the number of votes cast, half plus one hmm. of the votes cast. And if you vote present, then it's as if you're not there. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it you know, it was a, it was quite a, uh, it's been quite a lot of fun with the Republicans. So. They'll never get anything passed. They don't hold the supermajority. Uh -oh. Nothing, it, it can't get all these people together to get a speaker. They'll never get anything passed. And, and, and even if they do get something passed, it will then go to the Senate and be voted yeah. down. And even if it passes in the Senate by some quirk of fate no or, or, you know, whatever, uh, the president won't sign it. So, you know, the first what is, two bills, huh? the first two bills were about abortion. Yeah. 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 And they like, lost, you know, they lost in most of these areas. The Republicans lost <clears throat> because of yep. the issue of abortion. So why do they want to go back and do this to an issue 
that people don't want to, uh, oh, you know, this guy Adam is trying me on two different lines now. <laughs> Give him Jeff's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Give him Phil's. Yeah. Give him Phil's yeah. phone number. <laughs> oh, boy. This this guy is, you know, I mean, he's way, it, I, maybe he just has no life, I guess. Well, at least he didn't call in drunk like Bathtub did one night. Well, yeah, Bathtub did call in drunk. But, you <laughs> yes, know, he did. You should have heard this guy when I tried to talk to him the other night. He's worse than drunk, you know. When you talk to him, he doesn't know who you were or anything about the show, right? Uh, no, no. Yeah, so that's... Man, yeah. let me block him once again from being on the... Uh, <clears throat> on the... Uh, on the... On the <sighs> whatever here um put put in user in timeout okay oh wait a minute I, you know what i can do i can also hide user on this channel okay i'll do it users messages will be hidden okay so don't mind matter mind to do something adam because uh you're not going to be able to uh, get your your sleazy voice up there um, yeah, all his stuff's wiped away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Gabnet's going to holocaust you. Yeah, right, right. So anyway. Um, so anyway, back to Santos. Yes, back to Santos. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Another nice guy. Well, I mean, it's just, it's amazing um, that the Republicans, the Republicans should say, hey, you know, it's a bad thing that happened with Santos, and we agree with the Republican Party in uh, Long Island, and uh, we really should do something about this, or we should send it back to them and let them do what they're going to do with it. He's he's got criminal prosecution headed his way too. Yes, because they say he may have illegally gotten funds for the campaign. Yeah. Yep. He campaign probably finance violations. He hmm. probably also signed federal documents to run. Yep. Didn't he? Yeah. He lied on those. Yeah. yeah. And then there's uh, there's uh, the um, uh, what's going on down in Brazil, which I call January sixth with subtitles. Yeah, you know, it's January. We should send him Santos four, because he, he was bouncing checks down there. Yes, you're yeah, right. Another thing. You're right. You're They're, right. They, they have a warrant for his arrest. You know, there's a difference between what they did in Brazil to quell the riot and what we did here, and probably this is what we should have done. Arrested them. They all. arrested 500 people. Mm -hmm. 1,500. 1,500? Was it 1,500? Right 1,500. Yeah. yeah, 1,500. Yeah. Did you watch any of that, Josh? The Brazilian yeah. deal? No, not really. I haven't seen very much of it. it, it I'm aware of it, but I haven't really seen any footage. Supposedly, what's his name was involved in this riot, in this uh, setting this whole thing up? Uh, what's his name? Bolsonaro. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Boston Arrow? No, no, no. No, uh, Roy Bush, I mean, Trump's advisor. Whatever. Trump's oh, advisor. Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, Bannon was down there yeah. setting the whole thing up, telling him what to do, yeah. how to do it. You the know. difference is they're not going to get two or three years. They're going to get life imprisonment there. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Not, we're not gonna, they're not going to play Boston. games like we are. That's right. So, you know, uh, it, it's... It, it's uh, uh, it's really something uh, what's happening down there. That that uh, the only thing is it looks prettier than ours because they're all wearing like yellow and blue and it kind of look pretty. Yeah. Isn't that the color of the flag? Yellow and yeah, blue. green yeah. and yellow. Yeah, a, a green and yellow is a green and yellow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and blue pants. And I don't know where they all got the same costume. You know, I mean, all the, we're going to show up tomorrow to riot against the country. All show up wearing the same outfit. The Proud Boys. The Proud Boys were coordinated, but nobody else was. Right. You know. <laughs> Actually, the Oath Keepers were, were coordinated, too. They were all dressed in camo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see him. Hmm. yeah, all those guys are backpedaling on all their, all their stuff. Yeah. Now I can hardly wait. I'm, I'm the weekend's coming, and I'm just excited because I've been playing this video game for the last year that I just absolutely fell in love with because it has a plot line. V video games don't usually have a plot line. It's just people 
you know, you're shooting, killing Wasting people, money. and then you go into this thing, and there's a little bit of plot, like we have to go find where the cave is or something like that, and then you, you shoot some more people and whatever. This game had a storyline, and it had a real good storyline. And um, so uh, it came out in 2014. It's been sitting around for a couple of years. It came out with uh, part two, um, about a year ago, and um, uh, HBO picked it up for a show. <clears throat> so um, uh, HBO goes on on uh, Sunday night, and if it is as good as the game, and all the reviews I've read, Rotten Tomatoes, I went over there, out of something like 64 people, only two people didn't like it. The rest were saying it may be one of the best television shows ever made. What's the name? It's, title? it's called The Last of Us. Oh. And uh, it's about this guy who, at the beginning of this zombie apocalypse, okay, uh, is with his daughter trying to escape, and they are approached by police, not zombies, but by police, who then shoot at them and kill the girl, hmm. kill his daughter, um, immediately making the evil people in this not zombies, but people, you know, human beings. And now what the game is, is that uh, it's 20 years later, and he has been kind of working underground and making his money surreptitiously, and they ask him to take this little girl and take her across the country to this hospital that's in Seattle. And uh, and when he finds out why, it's because she is immune to the zombies. And they can make a vaccine out of her. And so it's this whole trip of he and the girl. Him initially hating the girl because his daughter died. He didn't want to get emotionally yeah. attached to anybody. And then the relationship that develops between the two of them. Now, if you can imagine this in a video game, that's what that's makes crazy. the video game so extraordinary. Yeah. And uh, the reviews on this thing have just been stellar, and it starts on Sunday. So is it only available on the PS5? Uh, the game is available only on the PS5, right? And and the well, the first one was also available in uh, in on the PS4 and on the PS3. Okay, uh, so and then there was a PS5 version, which is like really cool looking. It looks great, you know. It's the same exact game. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, TV show, they say, is the reviewers just said it's amazing. They can't believe how good it is. That if it's it, it, adults will enjoy it more than kids, they put it. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, it looks to be a very good show. So that's worth my subscription to HBO, which I don't pay for because I get it through AT and T. So anyway, you have to pay for the game, huh? Yeah. Oh, why wouldn't I have to pay for the I, game? I don't know how PS Five works or PS. Oh yeah, they, they nothing but free games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want to, if you pay sixty nine dollars for the goddamn thing, you know. Oh, yeah. This thing, when it first, the first version of it sold fourteen million, seventeen million, seventeen million copies. Jeez. Wow. Uh, at 59 bucks a pop, which it was at that time, that's a lot of money. And then the newest one, I don't know how many they've sold of the of the latest. They did a remastered version that's like really mm -hmm. great looking, you know, and plays really well. And uh, they're, they're charging 69 bucks for that, not 59 like the, uh, mm. the other one. And... Um, uh, it, it, don't tell me that the biggest money today in show business aren't video games. I mean, this thing probably made almost over a billion dollars. That's uh, that's quite a haul, you know. Is the game had the same title? Yeah, The Last of Us. Yeah, mm -hmm. Last of Us Part One is what they're doing this year, and then they're going to do Part Two next year. Part Two isn't as good as Part One was. Part One was just. <clears throat> There are moments in the game where you actually feel really depressed because characters you like get killed, mm. you know? And it, it comes out of a clear blue sky, too. So it, it's really, it's really, it's a great game, uh, but more than that, it's a great story. And it, I'm so happy that, that it's coming on, you know? Now, of course, I know Marjorie won't like it, but, you know, 
she's getting ready not to like it. So. Mm. I don't know what to do. Is the is the video of the pictures of the people? Are they do they look like automated people or do they look like real they, people? Actually, the stuff is really well done. You know, I saw a terrible movie this weekend. We walked out on it. We went to a theater and we walked out on a movie. What do you think we went to see that we walked out on? Any guesses? Uh, the one Avatar. We were talking about. Huh? Avatar. That's we right. We talked about it with Alex, with yeah. Albert. Albert, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we did talk about it with Albert. Yeah. Yes. Almost everybody. Avatar. Oh, I'm psychic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that thing was, it was so boring. Even after two hours. Or maybe an hour and 50 minutes that we just couldn't stick stick with it you know <coughs> life's too short uh and um uh people say well it gets better after two hours well if it gets better after two hours you just wasted two fucking hours of my time you know you could have been home playing your yeah. game when's the last time any of you have been to a movie Sing? I don't remember. Don't. Before COVID. Theaters. What do you, what you, you did, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, um, for the first time in over three years, we finally went to see Jurassic World at the theater. <laughs> yeah. The Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, Dominion. Yeah, yeah Dominion. Um, uh, but I mean, and also, I mean, I said to Marjorie, I said, listen, we just wait like three, four weeks and it's going to show up on Disney Plus anyway. You know, the only reason I wanted to see it in a theater was the 3D, and the 3D wasn't that good. It was kind of flat. It didn't <laughs> pop out at you. Um, so, Did you know. Did the theater offer 3D? What? Did the theater offer 3D? Yeah, of course. All the showings I, were in 3D. I, I haven't been in a theater in 10 years. Well, John Cameron is really a big proponent of 3D, <laughs> so he made sure that almost every showing, I don't think they're doing any showing <laughs> non-3D. But the theater was so icky and just, it was depressing. I, I, I was really depressed that night when I came home. Because I was looking forward to go back to a movie theater and, you know, do the whole thing. And the theater just was like dingy. The seats were cracking. These were those reclining seats and they were cracking. And this was an AMC theater. Did you sit in the senior center area? No. N they're, My roommate goes and he. And you see, he, he, he you're right, uh, Josh. He does jokes about <coughs> me being old, and he does jokes about you being young. <laughs> you know, so we can assume by his his demeanor that he's an ageist. Yeah. 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 I, I guess that wasn't. I, I didn't even think of it as you being old. Because my roommate, my roommate's my. No, age. you said was there a senior <laughs> section? Right, which is where my roommate goes, who's my age, and that's where my There's no such is. thing as a senior section in a yeah, movie the, theater. the theater he goes to, he gets in for $2 the, the, if he sits way in the back. Huh? You can sit anywhere you want to sit. Why would they put people, seniors in the back? <laughs> they yeah. got to go to the front one. Uh, they, I think they used to, years ago in movie theaters, have senior sections, but they don't uh -huh. anymore. And they were in the back, by the way. Okay. When they well, really should have been in the front because we can't see as well. You know, I wouldn't know. <laughs> it would make sense. Oh, no. And here comes uh, to end the show our, our, our little. Oh, 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 oh I got to show you something quickly. I got to show you something uh -oh. quickly. Well, Adrian. Uh oh, I didn't bring Come up here. Out. Come up here. Uh, excuse me, folks. Got to show Grandpa you. Grandpa Alex. Went here they are. Uh, wait yeah, a minute. More refrigerator oh, art. Just put my. My earphones on. I only got what I got about two minutes here. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Um, mm. So anyway, uh, let me see here. This is one picture from ah. from Adrian. You're, you get to see through it because of the green screen. The yeah. Green oh yeah, green. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, and yeah. and then uh, we got this one. Okay, wait a minute. Which way does this go? <laughs> There you go. Happy, happy late, late birthday. Happy late birthday. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, let me see here. Oh, what's the, Oh, here we go for Hanukkah. Then move to the side. Move it over a little bit more. There, there, there you go. go. There we go for happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Hey, that looks go. good. That's very good. Thank you, Adrian. I really appreciate it. 
And then I guess this is from both Brian and Adrian. Is this what is this? this is a, a paperweight, isn't it? Yeah, heart shaped paperweight. Uh, yeah, so it's it's uh, we went to an art festival and uh, and they had these uh, glass blown hearts, so it's all glitter and everything. And she wanted to get one for you. So yeah, I got very one. nice. Thank you so much, Adrian. I really appreciate it. Hello. He said oh. thank you. Oh, I'm just thanking you. I'm thanking you because that's the nice thing to do. Um, I, you know, but I appreciate it. I'm going to hang this up on the door. I'm going to take down some of your older artwork and put this artwork up. But uh, anyway, no, let me put it down there. Okay. Anyway, so that's, uh, huh? Yeah, what time is it? Oh, are we, so oh we're getting there. there. Yeah. It looks a lot of light. What? When, when she puts her face next to his, they look a lot alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was saying to Marjorie tonight, I said, you know, and it's kind of strange, but I, we don't have any kids, but I, I feel like I'm, I kind of have a kid it, it, by, it, by proxy, I guess, watching her grow up, you know? And I remember her when she was like really much younger yeah. and, and easier to get along with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, hey, thank you, Adrian. I appreciate the gifts and everything. Okay, and uh, uh, Jeff, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you to uh, 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 to um, 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 Vernon and Josh. You've been kind of quiet tonight, but you know, there are those nights, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> when do you start going to work again? Uh, next week. Next week. Okay, so we should probably have you here this week. Good. Yeah, Good. next couple of days. Yeah, and uh, Alan, thank you so much. Thank you to Charlie Wallace, and also thank you to Brian Neary. Neary. We really appreciate it. And Adrian, everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll say wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. <laughs> Let me do this. Okay, there we go. So that's, uh, that's what it looks like. That's our show for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He actually is going to be here, hopefully, with the intersection. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a nice evening.